Hey, how's it going everybody? So, I'm sure you all noticed all my videos got taken down. I must have a hater out there that's constantly red flagging my videos. As quick as I put them up is as quick as they get taken down. So I thought I'd share this with everybody before somebody else jumps onto it. So here's my take on what I would do to a single stack 80% frame if I was to make one. I would use the rear design of the Glock store, SS80 rear rail. And I would put it on the PF9SS. And that's what I did. Here's the PF9SS rail. And you can see the significant difference between the two. You see how much further it sits? This is the rail that I mocked up. I made a rail like the Glock Stores SS80 rail. And I inserted it into the PF9SS. My other design is on the front locking block. I hacked it so this stays in place like a factory Glock. And then whenever you want to clean out the inside of your firearm, do trigger upgrades, whatever it is that you might want to be doing. You don't always have to take out these pins and pull out the entire front locking block over and over again. All you would have to do is take out your trigger pin, pull out the front locking block. That would be a factory Glock 43. So that's the other design I'm working on right now. I already finished this part. Now I'm just working on this part. And when I put on the slide, it's like factory, it's like made for it. I mean, just goes right to it. See? There's no hang up, no grinding. Feels so much better than the design that Palmer 80 had with their rear rail. Go ahead, everything's clear. Pop that slide again. So, what I did is I mimicked the SS80 onto the PF9SS. And as you can see, the trigger bar no longer hits. The rail, rear rail, hits the palm air instead. Very well thought out design from Glock Store. So there you have it. That's my design on an 80% frame. That's how I would make it. I'll try to have it finished here soon. Have some videos of me shooting it if possible. If my videos get taken down. I'm still waiting to try to put my videos up on Gunstreamer and other channels. They still haven't approved me. Makes no sense. If you guys got questions, leave them in the comments below. If you'd like to get a hold of me, my email's on my About Me page. Thought I'd share this with everybody. I'd rather put it out there for everybody to see than give it away and get no credit where credit's due. Done that too many times already. And on the rear rails, I have them done. I 
have the rear rails done. But because of the design, these are the rails I made. But because of the design that the Glock store made on their rear rails, I'm gonna try to take that concept and do it on all my rails and try to do that to all of my P80 builds. So I'm going back to the drawing board. I'm gonna develop new rails. These are all the old rails. These are all the old design that I made. So like I said, folks, Mott line, got them done. I just, I don't like the design that Palmer 80 did with their rail design. I like the Glock store rail design, so I might go with the Glock store rail design and make a bunch of those and then start hollowing out the backs of my Palmer 80s and start trying out those rail designs and let you know how it turns out. You guys are more than welcome to buy these if you'd like. Isn't something that, you know, I'm 100% backing up. I really don't like this rail design, but I'm, have no problem selling them if you guys would like them. I just rather give you guys something that I feel is more of a better product than what the Palmer 80s rear rail design looks like. I'd rather give you guys something that I know is well worth doing the work to. And installing on your guys' uh, builds. Man, those things are very oily. Just wiping my hands off. So I'm going to try to get my other builds done. And try to show you guys the end result of what um, this PF9 will look like when it's all done. I already have the, the locking block, front locking block to it. All we need to do now give you guys an idea of what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is hack this, take this out and insert the factory one, like so, into here. So then whenever I wanna clean it up, change the trigger, just, you know, whatever maintenance you enjoy doing. I always like cleaning them out, keeping it dirt free, sand free. Where I go, I get a lot of that inside of it. So it becomes a pain to always want to take these pins out and pull this entire lock, front locking block system out. So that was my idea of hacking that. I already have one in the shop. I'm just finishing polishing it up to make sure this butts up to it just right. So I'll try to get that up. Try to get some videos of me shooting it. Also with this new design, but as you can see, like butter. Alright folks, there you have it. Like, subscribe, let everybody know that I could design something better than Palmer 80, Glock Store, 80% Arms, Omaha, and Strike Industry, anyone else in that type of field. If I had the money, I'd be putting out way better products for you guys. Things that you wouldn't have to sit there and 
polish, take out material, grind your holes, so then you have a slop job. Don't make very much sense. I would build products would be just like when you buy from the gun store. When you buy a factory firearm, you don't take it apart. You polish your frames, grind your frames, you drill holes in your rails. You don't do nothing that to your firearms when you buy them from a gun store brand new. I would expect that from an 80% build as well. And that's the type of quality I would want to sell to my customers. That's just my opinion. All right, folks, catch you on the next one.